Okay, in this video, we're going to be discussing friction loss in inch and three quarter and two and a half inch hose. So in order to figure friction loss, we're going to need to know three things. We're going to need to know the flow in gallons per minute, also report, uh, referred to as GPM. We're going to need to know the size of the hose. So that would be the hose size diameter. So we're dealing with inch and three quarter hose. We're also dealing with two and a half inch hose for this video. We're going to need to know the length of the hose per hundred foot. Uh, we base our friction loss for every 100 foot of hose. So in order to get the, the correct engine pressure, we also refer to that as the pump discharge pressure we have to have a little understanding of what friction loss is. So in order to get our pump discharge pressure, we need to add up the, the nozzle pressure. Nozzle pressure. Uh, we have to add compensate and add for the friction loss. In this video, we're not going to worry about any elevation, and we're not going to worry about any devices. So friction loss can basically be defined as the loss of energy as water moves through the hose. So in this illustration, if I require, if I require, let me go back, sorry about that. Let's see, okay. So if I require 100 psi nozzle pressure here at the nozzle, I have to flow more than 100 psi at the pump panel. Because as the water moves through the hose, there's turbulence and the water molecules are rubbing against each other, they're rubbing against the hose. So basically they're losing energy. So I have to pump a higher pressure at the pump panel, get the water to come out at the desired nozzle pressure at the end of the line. So if you watch the previous videos, you should all have a pretty good understanding of the different uh, nozzle pressures and the different flows. So for the two and a half um, friction loss calculations, uh, we can use this rule of thumb formula. You can also find it in the IFSTA manual where we, my rule of thumb formula is we, so we subtract 10. Uh, if you look at the IFSTA manual, if you're going by IFSTA, they use the uh, GPM flowing method, which is basically you take the gallons per minute and you subtract 10 from the first two numbers, basically the same thing. So this is also a rule of thumb formula, and it's usually good up to 400 gallons a minute. And you can see we're using it for our two and a half inch hose, or two and a half inch uh, nozzles. So this happens to be an inch and three sixteenths nozzle, right? So again, if you watch the uh, previous video about uh, nozzle pressures and nozzles, we have a one inch tip here. We have a inch and eighth tip here. We have a inch and three quarter, inch and a quarter tip here. So flows of 100, 265, 325. So going forward with this, uh, this problem, if I look at the problem, I need to know what my flow is. So I know the layout. I have 200 feet of two and a half inch hose. So I'm looking at a tip. So once I see the tip on a hand line, I automatically know my nozzle pressure is going to be 50 PSI. Here my tip size, based on my tip sizes, uh, if I committed them to memory, I know my flow is going to be 265. So my nozzle pressure is 50. So going by my drop 10 method, I'm going to take 265 and we're going to get rid of this last number, right? And we're going to subtract 10. 
that leaves me with 16. So if we go up here and there's there's two lengths. So there's a there's 100 foot of 100 foot here. So that's 16 psi loss here. 16 psi loss here, right? 16 plus 16 equals 32. So my friction loss, my friction loss is going to be 32. I add in my 50 pounds nozzle pressure, and I end up with my pump discharge pressure of 82 psi. So again, are we going to see 16 psi on our, our gauges on our pump panel? No. So you know, 15, if you want to use 15, that's fine. I right, move into the uh, inch and three quarter hose uh, friction loss form, uh, rule of thumb formula. And I call it the hand method. It's good up to 200 gallons per minute. So looking at your, your left hand, we start at our thumb. So our thumb is number one. Uh, index finger is number two, middle finger is three, ring finger is four, our pinky is five. We also assigned uh, different flows to each finger. So the thumb is 100 gallons a minute and it increases by 25 gallons a minute. So index finger is 125, ring finger is 150, excuse me, middle finger is 150, the ring finger is 175, and the pinky is 200. So in order for me to do my friction loss calculations, if I know the flow, so in this case, if my flow is 125 GPM, I just take two times 10 gives me 20. That's my friction loss for each 100 foot of hose. So that's pretty easy to do. And again, it's only a rule of thumb. There's some variation. We'll talk about the actual flow formulas in a few minutes. <clears throat> so in this case, this instance, I have 200 foot of hose, inch and three quarter hose. Uh, we know the flow. The flow is 150 gallons a minute. My nozzle pressure is 100 PSI. So what am I going to do? I just go back to my other uh, slide. So 150, 150 GPM, three. Three times 10 gives me 60. Excuse me, back up, my bad math. Three times 10 gives me 30, All right? And there's two 30s, so my total friction loss is gonna be 60. Nozzle pressure, so I have I have 30 pounds of friction loss in this 100 feet of hose. I have 30 pounds of friction loss in this 100 foot of hose. I add that together, gives me 60 PSI plus the 100 pounds nozzle pressure. So it gives me my pump discharge pressure at 160. So if I pump 160 over here, I'm going to get 150 over here. So when we talk hydraulics, when we start getting into some formulas, uh, we use the, Q, the term Q. So Q uh, is our term for gallons per minute. And Q is the gallons per minute divided by 100. So in the example I have below here, if I have 500 gallons a minute, sorry. My mouse has me messed up. There we go. All right. So if we have 500 gallons a minute flowing, right, uh, from a deck gun, we take 500, we divide it by 100. That leaves me with five, right? So that, that would be equals Q. Equals Q. All right. All right. So if you look at your, if you're using your, your IFSTA uh, text, in this case, the IFSTA third edition, 
we're going to give you a actual flow formula for friction loss. So the flow formula is friction loss. Our friction loss equals the coefficient times Q squared. So that would be the gallons per minute divided by 100 squared times however many 100 foot lengths of hose we have. The, one of the issues with the friction loss formula with the uh, if the uh, friction loss formula and, and the coefficients is um, they're basically generic coefficients. So you really have to go and look at your hose and find out what the coefficient is for your hose to get an actual friction loss flow. And you can see here, uh, in this case, if the for five inch hose gives you a 0.08, I know the hose that my company's using, the coefficient is actually 0.04. Uh, two and a half inch hose is two. I know that uh, my hose that I'm using right now is 1.5. An inch and three quarter hose is 15.5. I know from the manufacturer, the hose that I'm using right now, the coefficient is 11. So there's going to be some significant uh, differences in friction loss from rule of thumb formulas and from the actual flow formulas based on your coefficient. But for the purpose of the, uh, the pump school class that we're doing, we're going to use the ISTA uh, coefficients that we find in the book. So we can take our same example. So we're going to use our ISTA formula this time. And we can look over here. we got our, our Q, what, how Q is figured out. So Q equals gallons per minute divided by 100. So in this case, I have 100 gallons a minute. So I take 150 uh, divided by 100 equals equals 1.5. So my friction loss is the coefficient times Q squared times the, how many lengths of hose. So in this case, I got one, I got two 100 foot lengths of hose. So if I plug my numbers in, here's my co coefficient for ISTA for the hose, for the quarter hose. Uh, I know my Q, Q squared is comes out to be 2.25 times the two lengths of hose. So my friction loss is 34 PSI on this 100 foot, 34 PSI in this 100 foot. Gives me 68 PSI friction loss. So my pump discharge pressure is the nozzle pressure of 100 plus the 68 pounds friction loss equals 168 pounds per square inch uh, for my total pump discharge pressure. All right, so this is a quick video on figuring some basic friction loss for a two and a half inch and inch and three quarter hose using some rule of thumb formulas and using the uh, friction loss formula that's found uh, in the ISTA text. If you have any questions, this is my information. Uh, so for now, um, we'll see you at the next video.